What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over a couple of decks that you can try on day one of Grandmaster. Grandmaster is going to be a brand new card releasing tomorrow and I wanted to just homebrew and make some decks for you guys so that you guys can try them out and uh, yeah, before we go ahead and get into those, if you guys can, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I work very hard on these videos uh, daily to get them out to you guys so you guys can have fun. Um, and yeah, so we're going to start it off with basically a Destroy Shuri Nimrod package. Basically, Grandmaster's new ability is pretty unique. Basically, he's going to move an on-reveal card to the middle. Um, and essentially reactivate that ability. Um, what's really interesting about that is that if you start playing outside the lanes, he can move a non-reveal card. Once he moves it, then it activates again, and it's going to allow you to reactivate things like Carnage, Kill uh, Monger, uh, Venom, and it's going to allow you to ramp up really, really high um, in these types of decks. Now, I'm going to kind of go over some of the cards that you can fill in and take out. Um, basically the point is though, is to ramp up, get a Shuri down, then a Nimrod. Then you're going to do something like Venom and then Carnage, and then also possibly play, uh, the Grandmaster again at maybe in a later game. And basically if you're able to get them early on, it works out. If you don't, it's okay. If you play them later on, essentially you can reactivate things. So the other cool things that you can do is you can go for a standard Nimrod and then go for a ramp into Destroyer. And then you can activate the, um, you can actually activate the uh, uh, Grandmaster. And then what happens is, is you're going to essentially get multiple Nimrods out. And this package is going to be really devastating when you pump out a Shuri Nimrod and then someone essentially, you know, puts in a destroyer and then that, it just works out really well. Some of the cards you can kind of trade out and it'll probably make it a lot bit more efficient is if maybe Ghost Spider for magic, you can do cards like uh, you could take out Wolverine for magic, but in general, um, you can also take Armin Zola out and possibly put in a uh, Null. Uh, but there's just a couple of different things that you can take out in this deck and it would work out really well. Next on our list is going to be Grandmaster Funky Monkey. This deck is going to be pretty fun. Now, I'm still working and tinkering on this deck, but for the most part, the premise of this deck is that you have essentially cards like Mysterio, uh, Bast, Bishop, Angela, and then cards like Hitmonkey, and you use these cards to get Hitmonkey essentially really big. And then you can do things like Grandmaster to make him reactivate um, when you do another hand dump. The really cool thing about this deck though is that you have also a Thor Jane Foster package. So something that you can do is you can play Thor down on turn three. Uh, and then essentially, if you play Jane Foster, you can play the Bast. Um, once you have that in your hand, if possible, uh, if not, you can play, um, essentially wasp cards like Kitty pride. Um, you can play essentially, uh, Mysterio and a whole bunch of other cards like the Mjolnir. And essentially what's going to happen is that the monkey is possibly going to get reactivated with the, um, with the grandmaster. And when you do that and you do these hand dumps, it allows him to get really big alongside Bishop is also a big power source and werewolf by night also kind of bounce around the board. This deck is still in um, kind of a prototype and I'm still working on it. So I will let you know how I, how it feels once we get it done. But for the most part, I like the package we have. We will definitely have to adjust some things in and out. Next on our list is going to be actually a pretty interesting uh, build. We have the Lockjaw build. This is the Grandmaster Lockjaw. Now, uh, Lockjaw has been around for some time and more or less you will see a pretty standard build from him, but there are some actual key component cards that we've actually uh, added. Actually, my chat actually helped me build this. Um, basically, you have your normal Lockjaw package with Wasp and Thor. You have your Kyra to help you basically with your six cost cards. Now, you aren't really going to essentially run the Kyra if needed, but it is helpful for cards like Infinite and Magneto. But the interesting part about this deck is that we actually added leader Dr. Doom and Odin to the deck. Now, we did think about, we were thinking about using um, Giganto instead of Magneto, but instead of doing that, we essentially used 
uh, Magneto overall because Magneto has an on, real, on reveal eff effect that potentially can get reactivated by Grandmaster. And when you do that, it actually works out really well because, well, you know, you're going to disrupt their board. And with the amount of things like Miss Marvel running around and other cards like that, Magneto is not a bad choice to have. Other things in this deck that Grandmaster really can help trigger is cards like Jubilee. He can also help Odin re-trigger cards like Mjolnir that, that will be on the board or Doctor Doom. Essentially, Grandmaster can reactivate a lot of different cards, especially if you have a Thor and do Grandmaster. You can do even something like uh, Thor on turn uh, three, and then essentially you can play Jubilee. And then you can do something like Lockjaw Grandmaster, which will allow you to draw the additional, um, put the additional Mjolnir into your deck. There's a lots of different combos and, and twists and turns. Sometimes you'll even pull out a Jane Foster with that Grandmaster, which is phenomenal. Um, and then basically you have a bunch of cards in your hand that you can pretty much reactivate and you can pretty much make uh, Thor really big and do a lot more with that. So with that being said, that's gonna be a really fun deck for us to try. Next on our list is going to be a pretty fun one. Uh, this one is called the Master of Hands. Um, this one I am very, very, very excited to try because we actually put this together. Now, at first glance, this is a pretty straightforward Darkhawk and Ronin deck, but there is a twist to this deck. Basically, a card that never sees the time of day is Master Mold. Master Mold is a card that we love to use, but we just don't really see too much of him. With that being said, Master Mold and Grandmaster will be an absolute awesome duo to have. Um, you can play Master Mold on two, and then you can play Grandmaster on three, and that will allow you to basically put four Sentinels in your opponent's hand by turn three. That also includes Korg and Rock Slide. You can do things like Korg, you can do things like Rock Slide into uh, Grandmaster, you can do things like Black Widow into Grandmaster. These cards are going to synergize so well. Now, keep in mind, Cosmo is kind of the replace card. You can kind of put whatever you want in here. Uh, we just kind of put him in here because, well, we wanted some protection or layer of protection. But for the most part, um, he is pretty much the filler in this deck. But the cool part about this deck is that we actually have Zabu and Sarah. Zabu and Sarah will be absolute great additions to this deck because it's going to make everything cheaper and you're going to have the ability to reactivate a lot of things. Now, the other cool thing about the Master Mold that I really like is that Master Mold isn't just going to help the Ronin, but it's potentially going to also help the Darkhawk because Darkhawk benefits when they cannot draw. And if you manage to pull off a Master Mold and then a Black Widow, you can pull off some pretty nutty things and not allow them to draw at all. It's going to help the Darkhawk and help the Ronin. This is two absolute great things. For the first time, Darkhawk and Ronin can actually synergize very well together. And I'm so happy to see this because even if the, the Grandmaster pulls you know, a Rock Slide or Cork, they're gonna have rocks in their hands. And then we have Iron Lad. He's just, a, he's just gonna be another helper to this deck, becoming anything he needs to be and more adaptable. Now we did think about using, um, we were thinking about using, uh, what was the card? Uh, Absorbing Man, um, because he has an on reveal effect with Grandmaster can work, but I really still like the Iron Lad because Iron Lad just becomes whatever he is anyways. He's he's not, you know, he's just a makeshift all, so he's kind of gonna help us with that draw factor. So I, I, to be honest, this deck I think is going to be phenomenal. Um, even with Blobs running around, if you wanna swap out Cosmo, you could probably put Shang-Chi. Uh, it just, it works really well, and I just am really excited to see this. Maybe even a, uh, if you want to take out Black Widow or Cosmo, you can take out those and put Shang-Chi and, um, Shadow King. Those are always really good because you're going to be running a lot of ongoing in this deck, so it works itself out. Next on the list, and the last one we're going to be featuring, is essentially our iconic, uh, Hercules Move Tribunal deck. This one is going to be utilizing the Grandmaster, uh, basically to try to re-trigger cards like Iron Fist, 
or Ghost Spider and sometimes Doctor Strange or Falcon or even Beast. These cards can really benefit with Grandmaster. Grandmaster allowing them to reactivate their abilities, either moving cards around the board onto cards like Hercules or stuff like that, allowing us to get another move effect or even putting them back in our hands is going to be absolutely really good. Now, keep in mind, uh, you can trade out the Forge if you want um, with basically, uh, you know, uh, Hulkbuster if you want. You could also get rid of the Falcon if you want and put Grandmaster in hopes of hitting the Beast. Um, so there's a couple things that you can do here and it's really awesome because you'll be able to essentially bounce cards back to your hand or move cards if at needed. With that being said though, uh, at the end of the day, if you have Living Tribunal at the end, you're gonna just win all three lanes because this deck, it just proves, it has been proven that it just works really well and it's a ton of fun. I have been playing this deck for the last two weeks and I've already gotten my Hercules to ink split. I mean, I, I, I'm actually a true believer of the card. He's easily one of the most slept on cards uh, for what he can really offer and uh, yeah. But with that being said, if you guys can, please don't forget to like, subscribe. This is the end of the video. And uh, thank you for getting to the end. I hope that one of these decks, um, you know, is really fun. And if it is, come back to the video and comment below. Let me know. What deck did you find to be the most fun if you got the card Grandmaster? And if you didn't grand get Grandmaster, comment below that you didn't get them. Let me know. And let me know if you uh, want me to make some more of these. Uh, and in the meantime, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you guys can, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.